I've got more details on AMD's lower spec CPUs today, so stay tuned. Before I begin discussing the lower tier specs of Ryzen CPU SKUs, I wanted to address a few people who are worried where I'm getting my information from. The last thing I want is to seem I'm simply pulling this out of thin air for views. I will never intentionally deceive any of my viewers, and if I'm wrong, I'll either take down the misinformation or address it and make it known. I'm certainly human, but the worst thing I can do is continue perpetuating something that isn't true. Either way, the 1600X information I got was from a few different sources. The first is Tech Power Up, which is a network I've looked to for news for quite a while. Another was PC Per. Here's the thing, and this is me just trying to be completely honest about everything that I read and how I came to the conclusion that I did, so bear with me. PC Per used the words, thanks to leaks, yet when you click on their source, it takes you to the Tech Power Up post. But in the Tech Power Up post, it has zero indication that it's just a leak. Another source is WCCF Tech, who say specifically that it's official information released by AMD. They mostly refer to the release, but definitely continue right into specs and pricing. It's the actual images that make me agree this is official. It's obvious that they're taking them at the AMD event. Simply put, most news outlets almost always discuss the higher tiers far more than the lower ones, and it was clear that the event was more for Ryzen 7. The slides shown only give a few details, and multiple outlets discuss the release being Q2. One thing to note is that as you look into this, you can see some older reports that weren't deemed official but one time by a network and seem to not see the correlation in timing. These were definitely more of a leak and gave different clock speeds. But according to the images, it certainly seems the clocks are officially 3.6 GHz base and 4.0 GHz boost. So yeah, I know I rambled a little bit longer than I meant, but I want to make it clear that I didn't publish this until I was incredibly confident it was accurate. Since it does seem more networks aren't really talking about it, if it is deemed untrue, I'll absolutely retract my statements. But given the images, it certainly seems to be accurate. I'll also be adding the sources in the description below so you can check for yourself. Of course, one big reason I believe you aren't hearing anything is because reviewers really tend to focus more on the highest tier chips, but unfortunately, that can leave many people out. The biggest reason though is almost certainly that Ryzen 5 and 3 aren't coming out until later this year. So with all of that out of the way, let's discuss the lower tier yet still incredibly impressive Ryzen chips. Keep in mind that Ryzen 5 will be releasing in the second quarter while Ryzen 3 will come to us in the second half of 2017. To start things off, I'm getting this graph from WCCF Tech. Tech Power Up has a similar one, but upon inspection it looks like it's outdated as it shows a 1600X boost clock at 3.7 GHz, which seemed to be an older rumor. Yet in the article, it specifically says 4.0 GHz boost. So I find that odd, but WCCF Tech seems to have it right. Either way, until more is discussed on this, I can't absolutely guarantee all of this is accurate, so take this as more of a very close to almost accurate confirmed spec. Either way, some of the SKUs have not been detailed just yet. As you can see, the 1500 looks to be a 6-core, 12-thread, 3.2GHz base with a 3.5GHz boost and 16MB of cache. And it comes in at a price of 229 US dollars. Not bad. Following down is the 1400X, which by the X should have XFR, and comes at an impressive 3.5 gigahertz base with a 3.9 gigahertz boost and eight megabytes of cache. Keep in mind that this is four cores and not six. Whether more cores will become more relevant in the future of gaming remains to be seen. Also keep in mind, while I go through these, that all the 1500 and below have a 65 watt TDP. Finally, the 1300 is another quad core with 3.2 base and 3.5 GHz boost clock coupled with 8 MB of cache and comes in at $175. For a quick comparison, before wrapping up the video, let's look at the i3-7350K, which comes in at very similar $169. It actually runs at 4.2 GHz and allows for overclocking. Now, so does Ryzen, and this is a dual-core processor versus a quad on AMD's side. 
things seem to be moving to more and more cores in gaming. So a faster clock dual core really doesn't seem to be nearly as good of a deal as a quad lower clock model. But that's really for future tests to decide. Although, while there is definitely an argument to be made for not really needing six cores lower clocked, that quad core higher clocked would be better, I really don't think there's much of an argument to be made for dual core higher clock being better than a quad core lower clocked. But what do you think? I'm really enjoying talking to everyone in the comments. And I understand that some people really disagree with me, and that's fine, and we can talk about that. Or if you just really want to disagree, I mean, that really is fine. Let me know why. I can easily be wrong. Like I said, I'm fallible, just like everyone else. But I will say that I do work really hard to make sure that the information I'm presenting you is accurate. And like I said, if it isn't, here are the sources. I really hope it is accurate because it really seems to be coming in line with some awesome stuff. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my Twitter and Facebook for more up-to-date gaming news and reviews. So yeah, I hope you liked the video, and as always, have a great day.